Hello and welcome to this brand new Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial. Today we've got a quick one. I'm going to be talking about making your game full screen when you're using GMS 2 and it's actually way simpler than you think. The game I'm using to show this is a game I'm working on for a course I'm making. However, this will work in any game you make regardless. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an object and I'm going to call my object obj underscore full screen and I'm going to make him persistent and that means he's going to appear in every room and it's, he's going to hold the same values in every room. He's going to stay persistent and then we're going to add an event and we're going to add, I'm going to add a key pressed event and this event is basically wherever you want the code to turn the game full screen to run. So if you want that in a button, put this in the button event. If you want that when they hit space bar, put this in the key press space event. Put it wherever you want. In this case, I'm just going to make it so when the player hits F, it's going to make the game full screen. If they hit F again, it's going to make it not full screen. And I'm going to delete my code here. And it's actually extremely, extremely easy. Whoops. Sorry, I uh, hit the wrong thing there. I thought I'd just make this a little bigger. And what we can say here is we can say if window uh, underscore get full screen. And all this is going to do is it's going to see if the game is full screen. If it is full screen, then it's going to make it not full screen with this line of code. False. So I actually made that a little too big, it appears. So what we're doing here is we're seeing we're, we're getting the value if it's full screen or not. Is our game full screen? If it is full screen, then set our game to, to false. Set it to not full screen. Else, if it isn't full screen, then window underscore set underscore full screen to true. So here you are. So all it's going to do is it's going to see if it's full screen or not. And then it's going to make it full screen based on that. It's just going to toggle it. Super, super simple. And in this case, it's going to do that when I hit the F key. So in your case, maybe it's when you hit, you go into settings and you hit toggle full screen. It's going to either turn full screen on or off based on what the game is currently set at. So let's test this out. To do that, all I'm going to do is go into my room and I'm going to add in OBJ full screen into the corner, nice and simple. And I'm going to hit play. And what we're going to be able to do is see our game and we're going to be able to test out and see if full screen worked. Now, quick disclaimer, I don't think my video software can record full screen. So let's, it definitely cannot. You're going to have to trust me on this one though. The game is going full screen. When I hit F, it's going full screen, but it's moving to my other monitor. Uh, but it is going, so definitely test this code out for yourself, and you will see that, that it does work. But it's pretty simple, hey? Only three, four lines of code, and it makes your game completely, makes it completely able to go full screen or not full screen. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you helped you out. This was just a quick tip uh, that I know I needed when I was first starting out. So if this helped you out, please let me know. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. I'm always hanging out down in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Happy Devin.